what's going on guys it's Keda here and this multimeter is totally powered by this solar panel over here and it is measuring its own dead battery it is 7.7 .7 volts you can see there is no batteries onto the back so here is the solar panel that I have made it is consist of six solar vapors which will give me 3.6 volt at 200 milliamps maximum and here I have connected DC to DC boost regulator and here is the 5.5 volt 1 farad super capacitor so as you can see friends here this multimeter is so low powered that it can directly run from the solar panel when I measured the power consumption of this multimeter I have found it only consumes 5 milliamps at um, minimum voltage of 2 volts so it can be directly powered from this solar panel but uh, I have used this step up converter and uh, that's why it can be also run in indoor conditions so right now I have connected this DC to DC converter and the super capacitor to my multimeter and this uh, super capacitor is discharged so let me show you with uh, this uh, very low light actually it's cloudy day it can charge very fast so I have connected the solar panel and it's in a few seconds it charged the super capacitor and now it can be run from this energy for quite a long time actually if there is a full sunlight then this super capacitor can be charged in a minute in just one minute and it can last for few hours six to seven hours actually and it is a very good performance actually so for this low power devices this super capacitor can be used as a battery but if you don't have any kind of super capacitor then you can use normal lithium ion batteries it will work fine and also you can directly power this multimeter uh, because it's very low powered you can directly use a DC to DC converter and just power it up and the main thing since the solar power is uh, not uh, constant it is kind of fluctuating due to the irradiance it doesn't affect the readings of the multimeter so let me show you that now I'm measuring this battery voltage here and you can see that when I cover the panel it will not change majorly if I cover it fully the multimeter will just shut off okay friends so in the next video I will try to shrink the size of the solar panels and uh, maybe I will try to fit these all things into the the multimeter itself or anything other else so stay tuned for that video guys and thanks for watching Peace, goodbye.